How's it going everybody? This is Pete the Bush. If you're not old enough, you probably don't even know what one of these are. It's a CD, just like cassette tapes. This is becoming kind of like a retro item. Many manufacturers stopped making CD players these days. So Hot is one of the brands that still does this. I don't know about you guys, but one of my last remaining CD players broke down and I have nothing to play all these CDs anymore. Hot makes other models, but this one is special because it actually has Bluetooth in it. It's like a mixture of new technology with old technology. With that said, let me show you what's inside the package. Comes in this box, back label if you're interested. Here it is. Comes with a basic pair of headphones, micro USB charge cable, and a three and a half millimeter stereo cable. A manual and a QA guide to make sure you use it correctly. And at the bottom, there's these quality control slips. Charge port is right on the left bottom side. Two to three hours for a full charge, eight to 10 hours of playback time. On the back, if you turn on the hold function, it will make it so that when you press the buttons, it won't turn on. See, it says hold right there and it turns right back off. This is so you can put it in a bag or a pocket and it can knock on the buttons and it won't turn on and waste your battery. So to use it, flip it to the off position. You're no longer holding. I have a really old CDR here with full CDs in MP3 format and let's put it in there. Press play, it spins up internally. Push directory to change to the second folder and it's like you change to a new CD and then you can change to the next track within that folder. There are 12 tracks in the second folder. If we go over that, it will go over to the third folder. So it just keep on going from one folder to the next and keep on playing everything. ASP is anti-shock system. There's no way to turn it off if you're in MP3 mode. I have a CD in here. It says CD, turn off active shock protection. And now it will skip if you bump it a little bit. But the anti-shock system gives 40 seconds of anti-shock for CDs and 120 seconds for MP3s. This ear icon is to change the equalizer settings. Press once for bass, second time for pop, jazz, rock, classic, and off. You can change the mode of the playback. Play once, play all of the tracks looped, only play the intro, or shuffle all your songs. If you have an MP3 CD in here, it'll also show DIR, which means it will play all of those songs in that one particular folder repeatedly. This particular model is really cool. It has the Bluetooth function, just holding it, and you have the Bluetooth icon blinking, and you can pair some Bluetooth headphones with the CD player wirelessly. Flipping it upwards, the headphones is located to the right. You get the switch open for the lid. Here you have the volume knob, very retro. This is what it looks like originally in the CD players. And then if you go all the way around, there's nothing else. And there's a reset button here. Micro USB charge port. Back then, a lot of CD players didn't have lithium ion batteries. So you actually have like a little battery door to put two AA batteries inside. 40 seconds of anti-shock, let's test this out. Press play, it needs to buffer those 40 seconds first. Let me turn on a timer. Shaking it pretty vigorously, I assume it's not reading anything at all. 24 seconds, <laughs> it is pretty good. I think this means you can actually walk around with this CD player. 40 seconds coming up. I need to shake it more vigorously maybe. My arms are getting tired actually. One minute 35 of shaking pretty vigorously. So over here I actually have a CD full of MP3. So that means you can put like 11 hours of audio on one single disc. Playing MP3s, it can actually sustain shaking for even longer at 120 seconds. Let's check out the Bluetooth function here. You just press and hold the Bluetooth until the Bluetooth symbol flashes. I have a Bluetooth speaker over here. Let me press and hold it until it wants to pair. They're both in pairing mode. Oh, there we go. That took about 10 seconds or so. The Bluetooth light on my speaker is on. The Bluetooth symbol on the CD player is solid. So it should play now, let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Of course you can use Bluetooth headphones, your AirPods. It's like this retro feel to it. It's just really cool. If I just push that in, it thinks it's closed. Okay, let's see what happens if we try to stop it. Still keeps on playing. What happens if I steal the disc? Okay, it doesn't like that one. <laughs> it's like, the disc is gone. Let's do that again, except not remove the disc. 
Okay, after a few seconds, it stops. Okay, it goes back up again. Yeah, it looks like it had some time to buffer so it can last a bit longer without reading the disc. I probably have a soft spot for retro items that I've used before. If you have a huge collection of CDs and you don't know what to do with it and you can't play it anymore, this little portable thing is an interesting thing to carry around. If you guys are interested in this product, check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time. <laughs>